Hi, I'm Roman. Hi, I'm Steph, and we're going to be your local Sydney guide. We've set those videos up to show you all about Sydney, the best places to eat, the best sights to see. We hope you enjoy them. Sydney is a lovely city that is mostly known for its beautiful beaches, its awesome food, and of course, its landmarks like the Opera House that you can see. In this series of videos, we'll try to show you a little bit more from the locals' perspective. Uh, me, myself, I'm originally from Mexico, as you can tell from my accent, but I've been a Sydney local for five years, so we like to go out all the time and eat out all the time, so we feel like it's a good time to start recommending places to tourists and to locals as, as well. So. And I was born in Sydney, I've grown up here, and I love going out, I love my city, so we're excited to show you the best places to see. Today we are in Circular Quay, which is one of the most touristy places you can find in Sydney. For our first video, we're going to talk about the top five things you can do in this area. This can be easily done in one or two days. Number one, the Opera House. The Opera House is an awesome venue that you can check out like from literally every angle if you are in Circular Quay, which is the area we are right now. Uh, it's a very good venue not only for opera and classical music concerts, but you can also find like dance and ballet performances, pop concerts, rock concerts, they, they show all sorts of stuff. I really recommend coming to Opera Bar for lunch. It's better than some of the more touristy places. You can have a glass of wine, a great meal, and there's sometimes even live music. Number two, the Harbour Bridge. The Sydney Harbour Bridge is probably the second most well-known landmark in all of Sydney and all of Australia. A lot of people uh, pay a lot of money to climb over the Harbour Bridge. You might be able to see in the background very small little people walking across, but it's at least two or three hundred dollars. The top tip is you can actually climb one of the pylons that you can see in the background for about ten or twenty dollars. Um, you'll get amazing views and it's a definitely a cheap way to see Sydney Harbour with a beautiful scene. Number three, the rocks. The Rocks is a historical center of Sydney and one of the oldest neighborhoods in all of Australia. Here you will find some really old nice houses and some historic pubs. If you find yourself in Sydney during the weekend and you happen to be here in The Rocks, it's a good idea to come to The Rocks markets. I think they're on Saturdays and Sundays, probably just Sundays, I have to check that. Uh, roughly from like 9 a.m. to like 4 p.m. and you can find really cool stuff here, so let's have a look. The stuff that you'll find here is mostly things made by locals, so you can find very unique pieces around here. They sell everything from baby clothes to jewelry to home decorations. So apparently Christmas in July is a thing in Australia, so well, we'll just go with it. You can get yourself a cup of mulled wine or some tasty snacks around here. If you love history, we have another local tip for you here in the rocks. Just one street next to the main street here, you can find this little beautiful alleyway that's totally free of tourists most of the times. And you can find this little gem here, the Rocks Discovery Museum. It's actually free and not many things in Sydney are free, so you might as well check it out. If you happen to be in Circular Key or the Rocks on a day where there's a massive big cruise ship arriving on port, it's going to be way busier than it should be, so please take that into account if you're visiting. Number four, visit the Domain and the Botanical Gardens. So you can see it's a pretty busy day today in Sydney. When you need a break from the crowd, this is a beautiful spot to come. It's the Domain and it's got beautiful gardens, really great spot to relax. It's pretty big, so it might take you a while to explore. I'm pretty sure we're going to make another video about the Domain and the Botanical Gardens, which you can find further back that way on another episode, but it's a good time to mention it because it's just next to Circular Quay, it's just next to the Opera House. So if you're a bit tired of noise and the tourists, you can just come here and chill for a bit. It's a pretty nice spot. Number five, 
Number five, jump on a ferry. You'll get an amazing view of the harbour. Circular Quay is also the main station for Sydney ferries. This is definitely one of the best spots to take a ferry if you want to go to other places like Luna Park, Manly Beach or Taronga Zoo. So our local tip was to come up to the top of the elevator here and you'll get the best view of Circular Quay. A lot of people don't know about it, it's a real local knowledge. So as you can see, there's no tourists here at all, no one to block your photo, and it's the best view you'll get of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked our video. If you want to see more, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel.